Hey, this is Brett Bumitter, and we're taking a look at booking plugins this week. From uh, I'm coming to you here from Lake Wiley, sitting on the dock, and we're going to take a look at the Zinjiri bookings plugin next. I'll pull that up in WordPress so that you can see it. Uh, it's just called bookings when you're looking on the WordPress repository, but this actually connects to a service from Zinjiri, one of their services. And we take a look at the booking plugin or scheduler. Uh, this works, they have something both for WordPress, Joomla, uh, or you can send it straight to an HTML5 site. Um, in general, there's, this is a free program. They've got a couple bump ups to pro or expert, but I like the way they do the pricing structure. With the free level, you can do schedule for one person or one schedule, and it's free up until 20, you've booked up to 25 different bookings in the month. Uh, so it's almost one a day or something like that if you're working during the weekdays. And you can schedule that across five different people, resources, or staff, depending on what it is that you're trying to book, whether it's rental property, office space, uh, or just people's time or something like that. If you go beyond 25 in a month, uh, then you go into the $10 a month pro version. And uh, that also allows you to bump up to uh, 25 people. You get support tickets instead of having to deal with the forums. And... Uh, a number of other capabilities kind of come with that uh, bump up. So there's the, the service rundown. Let's take a look at the plugin itself. Again, this is called Bookings. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to install this on a test site. Search for that plugin real quick. And we'll go ahead and install it. That's the Bookings by Zinjiri. Go ahead and unpack it so you can see what's involved in this particular uh, plugin. So we can see now a little uh, pop-up down here in the lower left-hand uh, section. Please verify your settings. Loads us up with an API key, a secret key. Uh, if we go to the Bookings Pro, then we have to get a license key. Uh, we could so showcase our site if we wanted to. That's not going to be necessary here. Before you install Booking, you uses web services stored on, on Zinjiri's servers. Doing so, personal data may be collected, including your admin email address as this is used. So as soon as I hit update, that gives it the go ahead to, uh, I guess, send my admin email from this website over to Zinjiri and connect this site. So now after I've done that, after I hit that update button, I can see all of these different settings uh, come to life within this plugin. So this is actually a plugin uh, in WordPress as opposed to many of the plugins that we've seen so far where it embeds or uses an iframe to put uh, something in there. So that's uh, interesting. So as I go into schedules, I can see uh, different schedule titles. I can pick uh, what I want to display, uh, timeframes, when something's going to uh, start, I can add a schedule. I can take a look at resources. Remember, we can have up to five people, so we'll say Brett, doc office is the location. Put in a fake phone number for the web. Um, minimum reservation time, we'll say an hour. Maximum reservation time, we'll say three hours. Minimum booking notice, 12 hours. Uh, maximum booking notice, say, 72 hours, something along those lines. Don't want some back-to-back -back stuff. Can okay, have more than one participant, that's interesting. Approval required. So go ahead and add that resource. And now we can see that there's a resource available. We can set blackout dates, if I recall, right? So I can now see potential schedule for this new resource. So let's say I want to uh, black out uh, morning time frames or something like that. Let's see. I don't want to check availability. I thought I was adding blackout dates. Hmm. View schedule. Am I doing this correctly? I'm not quite certain. Um, oh, I can't drag and drop. Repeat every 8 a.m. Uh, to 
5 p.m. Your blackout was successfully created. Close. Okay, so I can see that that's blacked out. Um, how do I do, let's see, click a different date. Let's say I don't want to have any appointments before 10 a.m. Maybe. So there's a new blackout date. Uh, Tuesdays, I always have appointments or something else offline, but between 4 and 5.30. So you get the idea. I can add some blackout dates, products and services. Let's see, what do we have? Add a column. Oh, there. Hit the little add button up here at the top. Uh, let's see. Something along those lines. We'll pick the person. We could oh, something along those lines. I could add a picture, uh, text, duration of the product services is in minutes. So let's say 60 minutes. I talk a lot. And there we have it. Take a look at the schedule calendar. That's just general schedule. We can manage reservations and approve reservations. All good. Let's see. How do we share this with people, I wonder? Good question. Can I add it to a page? Maybe it's a widgetized deal. Let's go into widgets real quick and see if this has added a widget for us to use. I don't see a widget. So is there a short code possibly? Or is this just all WordPress admin based? Let's take a come back to the installation and see if I'm missing something. The bookings doesn't mention there at the front page. Sometimes plug in, aha, include the bookings code. Simple enough. Okay, we'll come back in here. And I think I have a page ready for this particular bookings page by Zingiri. Zingiri, not entirely certain if I'm saying that correct. So I'll add that short code. I'll view my page. And so now someone could potentially come in, pick that resource, and if they knew what they were looking for, this is what they would see. So let's say they went out to the 29th, Sunday, I uh, blocked off time for current Monday, but apparently not for this Monday. So let's say they pick the 29th. Uh, I'm trying to click on these lines and nothing is happening. So at this point, I'm kind of stuck. So what's the next step? I don't know. And uh, let's go back and take a look, make sure that we didn't miss a step. Schedule title. Consulting. Resources drop downs. Looks like there's a few different. Change this calendar up just a little bit to see if that helps. And we'll have the weekday start on Monday, and I'm not going to work weekends now. And we'll change my start time 9 a.m. Wrap the day up at 10 p.m. I do like to work late. Uh, there were problems. It's really hard to read this font. You're limited to a one schedule only. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. I guess it means I already have a default schedule. So if I have anything I need to 
edit the schedule that I already have. Okay. Schedule date picker, compact, change this up again, sure, 30 minutes, starts Monday, 5, edit schedule. Okay, let's see what happens when we refresh this page. Can we pick that name? Slightly different looking calendar. My reservations. A little wonkiness going on with the design here. Um, blacked out time. Uh, notice I went back in time a little bit so I can see my blackout times. That date's passed. Let's take a look at a future date. I'm trying to figure out if I can actually click on anything to make things happen. Ah, okay, so a little hard to tell since it's white, but as I come through here, I think I can click on one of these to pick a time. Here we go. Uh, first name in, Brett test, email, 555, send that in, details, 30 minutes, minimum reservation, please go back and correct, okay, your session has expired. Well, there you have it. I think that's enough for the booking plugin from Zinjiri. Probably takes a little bit more work to really figure it out uh, and probably a whole lot of CSS work to clean it up such that it looks good. Uh, but it is all in the WordPress system and, and that's a bit of a rare thing. <laughs>